The date was 28th August 1840. 18 young men arrived on the shores of Lake Ontario in Toronto. The men were tired, starving and run down from the long journey. They brought with them an invitation from Mr. George Philpotts, the secretary of the Toronto Cricket Club, to play a cricket match with their team, the St. George Cricket Club from New York. When inquired, Mr. Philpotts was nowhere to be found. As a matter of fact, Mr. Philpotts didn't exist at all. So, Canadians being Canadians, gave shelter and nourishment to their guests and arranged a cricket match in haste. A fair number of spectators attended as well as a brass band and even the Governor of Upper Canada, Sir George Arthur, graced the match with his presence. The New Yorkers would win the match by 10 wickets but left Canada on such good terms that they invited their opponents down into the US from what would become the first ever international cricket match. The match. The American side contained players drawn from the clubs in Philadelphia, Washington DC, Boston and New York. On the other side, the majority of Canadian team played for the Toronto Cricket Club side, but efforts were made to include players from elsewhere, with some being drawn from the Guelph Cricket Club in Western Ontario and others coming from Upper Canada College in Ontario. The game was scheduled for two days. The Americans won the toss and decided to put the Canadians into bat first. The Canadians posted a score of 82 and by the end of first day, the US was 61 for 9. Play on the second day was impossible due to bad weather, so the match was extended to a third day. The Americans would eventually be bowled out for 64. In the second innings, Canada scored 63, giving Americans a target of 82 to win. However, the US would be bowled out for just 58, giving Canada the win by 23 runs. A year after the match, a second meeting between Canada and the United States was arranged at McGill University in Montreal. The match took place between July 30th and 31st, 1845. The Americans won the toss and once again decided to put the Canadians into bat. Canadians posted a score of 80 in their first innings. The US replied with 79. However, Canada posted an excellent score for the time of 135. The Americans needed 137 to win but could only manage 75 and Canada won again. Later in the same year, the two teams met again in New York, with Canada once again emerging victorious by two wickets. For a short time then, Canada could call themselves the best international cricket team in the world. Big unknown fact is that Canada's first Prime Minister, John A. Macdonald, declared cricket to be Canada's first national sport in 1867, largely due to these victories over the US.